Well, hello all my YouTube friends. Glad you could join me again. It's been a couple of exciting weeks. I've got a whole bunch of new subscribers and uh, lots of new views and lots of comments. That's really exciting. It's, uh, it's rewarding when you do these videos and, uh, and the stuff gets circulated and people actually get a chance to see it. Uh, so this week uh, I did some uh, testing on the 6-inch panel. Uh, I did some fire testing on it and I did some stress testing with it. Now I did manage to break it and you'll, you'll see that in the video. Uh, but it was good to be able to analyze it afterwards. So uh, yeah, take a look at the video and then uh, I will catch up with you at the end. So this is the panel after uh, one week. I poured it a week ago. Uh, it usually takes 10 days to cure and uh, I didn't have it wrapped either. Uh, got a little impatient, uh, but nonetheless, I, uh, I've got it marked there at two feet. I'm gonna cut it with a reciprocating saw and uh, then take a look inside. Well, my friends, that's what it looks like on the inside. So if you can see close here, you can see the, that's that little rod, of course, from the grid. There's another one. Uh, but yeah, look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? That worked out really, really good. I'm so pleased with this. So uh, now what I want to do is uh, mix up some sand mix and put a three eighths to a half inch coat on the uh, on the back side, the kind of the weaker side that I did, and uh, yeah, we'll see what it takes, what it looks like on uh, Friday. So I've uh, mixed up my cement, the sand mix. Unfortunately, I don't have my trowels here, but we've got a putty knife, so we'll see if we can make that work. there we'll have a we'll tell you, we'll see what that looks like on Friday but uh, I wish I had a little bit more to do the edges but it's kind of hard anyway because it's I pretty much need to hold up like a flat trowel and then do it uh, but anyway this should uh, this should give us some answers so uh, the other thing I like to do is uh, try to put the torch on the other piece there 
just the way it is and uh, see if some of the styrofoam melts. All right, so I've got the torch fired up. I've kind of tried an area here already. Um, and it seems to be just surfacing the, uh, melting the surface styrofoam. It's, it's definitely not going any deeper, even if I get this red hot here. Uh, it's certainly not going to catch fire. Look at that, just glowing orange there. It's not breaking down. So I imagine maybe the first half inch or, th or three quarter inch. Uh, be interesting to cut this open after and uh, kind of see what, how far that this uh, actually melted. But that's uh, that's pretty hot there, and as you can see, there's it just cools right back down. There's certainly no uh, no hazard of fire there. We'll try we'll try an area up here. You can see the the blue styrofoam particularly. It just starts to disintegrate, but that is about as much. Yeah, so I would say it's definitely fireproof. So it's been about a minute. I can put my hand on it. I can still see that it's warm. I've got my uh, putty knife here, so I'm just going to look at that. See, there's the styrofoam again. And you all saw how hot that was. So that would have... There's one last little burnt spot there, I think. And that would be no more than half inch, five eighths at the most. So that's uh, that's really good. Now, yeah, I don't think it would even matter if you had it on there longer. Even over here, you see the holes there where it burnt, where the styrofoam burnt out. But look at that, there's styrofoam there again, see? So that barely touched that. Like that's maybe a quarter or three eighths of an inch. Fantastic. All right. This is the back side of the piece I cut off. You can really see the, uh, well, you can see the marks of the, of the tarp, like the actual, uh, like almost like jute. But uh, you've got these big creases where the tarp was, I guess, just sitting up a little bit. I'm surprised. I thought I would have flattened it out. But uh, I guess if we want a smooth side, we're going to have to uh, have maybe stretched plastic. But regardless. So this is an analysis of the uh, stress test that we did. And uh, if I get in a little close here, I've got about three-eighths of an inch of, um, of, of uh, like stucco on the outside there that I did. And uh, there's a couple of areas where around the edges I guess particularly there would be one that's pretty smooth there and I think I saw a little spot there um, but for the most part if I get in a little closer here you can see it it uh, it ripped uh, when it broke it tore out of the uh, styro aircrete uh, which is a good sign really uh, means that I have uh, really good adhesion and I didn't even use a slurry I just literally uh, yeah just um, mixed it up and 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 spread it on um, so that's really good now I'm going to turn it around because that's interesting too so this is the other side of the panel and uh, you can't hardly tell where it's uh, been cracked and let's see if I can zoom in here kind of show you guys but there there it is okay and it kind of runs along here but you got to really look for it um Anyway, even uh, so, even when I take it on the side, so I've got it leaning a bit, so there's a bit of stress on it, and yeah, it's opened up a wee bit.
but I'm quite amazed as to how strong it still is. It hasn't uh, completely fallen apart. And uh, so that wire mesh inside is uh, definitely giving a lot of strength. Yeah, so, well, in the end, I would say that the panel was pretty successful. I mean, that was some pretty serious stress that I put on it, jumping up like that. And uh, it did take my third landing for it to actually uh, crack. Uh, however, no, I'm very, very happy with it. And uh, so now the next uh, the next game is going to be to actually uh, build a bunkie. So I have a customer, and they want an 8 by 13 bunkie. It's going to be about 14 feet high, a couple of windows on the side, door on the front. And it'll have a little loft, just enough for a bed up on the, on the one side, on the one end. Uh, and probably a window up there in the top as well. So, uh, yeah, so, uh, and it'll be an arched uh, cabin style. So, uh, uh, again, um, when I was watching Stephen Williams, he was um, making that presentation in that case, and I did some further research on it. And, indeed, it is probably one of the most efficient ways to build, uh, least expensive. Uh, and uh, the, the engineering is very simple because all the weight uh, is all directed down to the ground. Um, so... Uh, I'm thinking that I'll probably just make the ribs in a jig uh, and then set them up and then uh, uh, finish the inside and then uh, pour the sterile aircrete on the outside uh, and then cover that with a coat of stucco and I think we're good to go. So that'll be very exciting. I know the cold weather is coming and I probably won't be able to put it together till spring uh, but I'm going to keep working on it anyway. Um, now, the other thing is, is I'm working on a, on a new type of foam generator. I like to think outside the box. Uh, I've got it working in principle. Um, I'm, I'm making a, a larger volume one uh, to see if I can get it to work. If it does, I will share it with you. If it doesn't, I'll just tell you that it didn't work. Um, but also, um, the, the formula for the aircrete, the foam, I, ha I have tremendous success with the foam. I can make a, um, a, a, well, I've been making the, um, I guess it's a 25 gallon garbage can. Uh, I can fill that up with foam and 24 hours later, it has barely started to, to disintegrate. Um, and the secret is in the product that I use um, and also how I use it. So in a, in a future video, I definitely want to share that with everybody. Um, Initially, when I started this uh, aircrete project, I had a couple of fellows that uh, that offered me a little bit of uh, of R and D investment money, if you will. And uh, so, once I was successful, um, I was sort of reluctant to share some of the secrets. But uh, there is definitely a, a wonderful community out there, and there's a lot of guys, a lot of people that want to try this uh, on their own. And uh, so I think the more information that we can get out there to people, uh, especially if you're experimenting, rather than going through that whole entire process, you can just get it uh, done uh, by following uh, uh, some, of, some of the advice and the, uh, the results that others have uh, discovered. So yeah, all right. Well, thank you so much for, uh, for watching the video. Uh, subscribe, that's wonderful, and uh, give the video a like. And uh, yeah, we'll catch up to you next time.